All right, no messing around today. We're gonna to get straight into the magic. The title of today's video is how to keep a woman obsessed in the long term. I've got my notes ready, but just to be clear with you guys, this video is for men who currently have a woman they are seeing or currently have a woman they are dating, all right? The first way to keep a woman obsessed in the long term is to limit how much you see slash spend time with her. All right, if you're seeing this girl five to six days a week, she knows you have nothing better to be doing. All right, do you think someone like Jason Statham in his early days, when he's filming all these great films, do you think he's seen his girlfriend five to six days a week? Do you think he's sat on that sofa watching Netflix five to six days a week with his girlfriend? Absolutely fucking not. Women subconsciously know that a man who's always available does not value his time and that is a low quality man because he should be on his purpose. He should be doing something more productive with his time. It also shows that you have committed to this girl without having the girlfriend title, right? If you're seeing this girl four to five days a week, she knows you're not seeing anyone else. She knows that you're not still on the dating market. You have all your eggs in her basket. She's not stupid. She knows that you don't have that much free time to be dating her four to five days a week as well as seeing some other girls. And we all know from a previous video that when girls know you have committed to them, when girls know they have got you, their interest plummets and you just can't help female nature. As well as this, men fall in love through time spent. Women fall in love through time apart from you. You need to understand this concept and you need to give this girl a chance to miss you. If you limit how often you're seeing this girl, she is going to get more obsessed because in the time you are not spending with her, she is going to be wondering in her head, what is he doing? Where is he? Is he with other girls? And I don't want him with any other girls. And she's going to get obsessed. Number two, cut consistent communication. Guys, this is a mistake I have made so many times in the past. And I see so many guys making this mistake. Let me get this through your brain. She is not your girlfriend until she is, okay? Until she comes to you and asks, what are we? Where do you see this going? She is not your girlfriend, so you do not need to consistently communicate day and night, be texting this girl day and night, no good morning texts, no good night texts, stop calling, calling her on a night, stop FaceTiming her for hours and hours, you do not need to do this, this is boyfriend duties, you are... You are not her boyfriend yet, all right? And you also need to stop messaging this girl on multiple different social media platforms. You do not need to be Instagram DMing this girl memes. You do not need to be sending her TikToks as well as texting this girl on iMessage. You do not need to put in this much effort. Like I said, she is not your girlfriend. You should be talking to her maximum on one social media platform, right? You're over communicating it. It's showing over investment and her attraction for you is gonna deplete. If you want this girl to stay obsessed with you, you need to remain somewhat of a mystery. You need to have your own life outside of this girl. If you're texting her all the time, if you're communicating all the time, you've already shown her all the chapters of your life, all the chapters of the book. There's nothing left, left to mystery. And the third way to keep a girl obsessed with you in the long term is to exercise social proof. This is the idea that the girl knows in her head that you are either seeing or speaking to other girls, you have the ability to see or speak to other girls, or she knows that other girls want you. The third one being the main point, she has to know that other girls want you, all right? If you apply the two things that I've already said, limit the time you spend with her, cut consistent communication, right? You are going to achieve social proof because what this is going to do is it's going to create natural competition anxiety. If you're not texting her all day, she's gonna be thinking, what other girls are you texting? Right, if you're not spending five to six days of her a week, she's gonna be thinking in her head, what other girls are you seeing on the side? Right, this is going to cause natural competition anxiety in her head. And again, she is not your girlfriend yet. So if you want to speak to other girls, you can. And that is the best way to do it because you will remain abundant, 
right? You won't feel any attachment towards this girl, right? Because you know you have other options and you'll remain detached. But at the same time, she's going to become completely obsessed with you because she knows you have other options. She knows she's got other girls to compete with and she knows that you have the ability to attract other girls and other girls want you. That is social proof. There's so many little things you can do in everyday life to exercise social proof, right? If you're chilling with this girl, leave your phone out. If a girl messages you, a girl messages you. Guess what? You are not committed to this girl yet. She is not your girlfriend. She might get angry about it. She might kick up a fuss about it. But guess what? That is social proof proof. She knows that other girls are on that phone, right? They want you. They are trying to steal you off of her and that is going to make her obsessed. The second thing you can do is be enthusiastic with the waiters when you're on a dinner date, when you're going to take her out for coffee, right? The waiter's flirting with you a little bit. She's giving you eye contact. Listen, you're not shut off yet. This girl is not your girlfriend. You're only seeing her. So if you want to be enthusiastic with that waiter, if you want to be enthusiastic with that barista while you're getting a coffee at Starbucks, right? Do it. All that's going to do is make that girl more interested in you, more attracted to you. The social proof is blaring, right? And she is going to become obsessed with you. I hope you got some value out of today's video. If you did, drop it a like, hit up the comment section and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. I love you.